Hey Facebook, happy Thursday. Just getting the light right here. All right, I'm just gonna wait for a couple of you quickly to hop on. I have something really, um, <laughs> it's funny, but it's not funny because it can be frustrating for a lot of people. And it's funny when I hear it because I have been there and I get it and I understand it. And you guys know I freaking love talking about manifestation and teaching it. Hey Tiff. So I am going to clear a couple of things up for you because I think it's really, really important that I do. And when it comes to the world of manifestation, I get asked a lot of questions. A lot of questions. Hey Myra, because there are a lot of questions. It's a very, um, well, I think a lot of people now are opening up to the idea of it more and understanding the power of it more. But it's still a very gray area for a lot of people, meaning a lot of people are just like, does it work? Does it not work? Am I wasting my time? And one of the questions that I get asked, and I actually had, I've had a couple of friends and clients say this to me and actually have this happen to them, where they've been learning about manifestation and they know that they need to think abundantly, right? But then what happens is they go out and they spend all their money because they think they're being abundant, right? They're like, but I thought I had to be abundant. Isn't, isn't, that, isn't that thinking abundantly? Like I can go out and I can spend money on whatever I want and then all of a sudden, I don't know why, but I'm left with no money. So where do I draw the line? If you can resonate to this or if this has happened to you before, send me the love hearts, let me know because I'm going to clear this up for you right now. Now, I want to clear this up for you because I get that it's an area where a lot of people have confusion and they're like, I don't understand. Where do I draw the line? If I'm meant to think abundantly, then shouldn't I be able to just go out and spend all my money on everything that I want to and, and still have money left over? And this is what you need to understand. There is a line when it comes to being abundant and thinking abundantly and just making careless silly decisions really because being abundant it's a mentality it's it's a feeling that we embody it's not necessarily something that we go and we do being abundant is an energy so when you go out and you physically spend all your money and then wonder why you've gotten got none left it's because you're making a decision that isn't in, align, in alignment to you. So thinking abundantly is one thing, but making poor decisions is another thing. So I'm going to give you an example. If you have something that you want to, to buy, something that you want to spend money on, and you've got to spend a lot of money doing it, if it doesn't feel aligned to you, there's going to be a consequence if you go out there and you spend all your money on this thing. It's not coming from a place of abundance. It's coming from a place of not being in alignment. And when we're not in alignment, there's only ever going to be a consequence around that. So when you want to spend money on something, the first thing you have to ask yourself is, yes, am I being abundant about this? Because abundance is a mentality. It's a mindset. It's not a physical action that we can take. It's not something tangible. Abundance is a shift. It's a mental shift. It's a decision. It's a mentality that we choose to embody. So when there's something that you want to buy or manifest or spend your money on, you need to be able to ask yourself in that moment, am I being abundant here? Does this feel in alignment for me to purchase this right now or to spend my money on? Or am I just making a careless decision that's not in alignment for me? Because here's the, one of the rules when it comes to manifestation. If you make decisions that are aligned to you, you will always, always, always be supported. Every single time. You will always be supported when you make decisions that are aligned to you. But if you're making decisions from a place of fear, fear of missing out, or lack, or scarcity, that's when there's going to be a consequence such as having no money left because you've spent everything on something. Is this making sense to you guys? I want you to send me the love bombs. Leave me a yes below if this makes sense to you, if you've been in this position before. 
because I get it. It's a real question. Where do we draw the line between being abundant and making careless decisions? And this is your answer, guys. This is your answer. It's the difference between being in alignment with something and not being in alignment with something. If it feels aligned to you to go and spend $1,000, $10,000, $20,000 on something, awesome, do it. You're doing it from a place of alignment. But if you're going out there and getting yourself into a really, really sticky situation because you've made a decision that wasn't aligned to you, it's not coming from a place of abundance. It's coming from a place of, it's actually coming from a place of fear and lack and scarcity. And there's always gonna be a consequence. You're not going to be supported in that moment. And the consequence is going to be, you're gonna be left without any money. So I really, really want you guys to understand this, that being abundant doesn't mean going out and spending all your money at once because you're being abundant. That's not being abundant. Abundant is a mindset, as I said. It's about knowing and believing and feeling, feeling, it's a feeling, that everything and anything is possible for you as long as you're making decisions that are aligned to you. It's knowing, it's showing up in every moment that and knowing that even if you don't have everything that you want right here, right now, that it doesn't mean you can't have it. It's showing up and knowing that just because it's not in your current reality right now, it's still very possible for you and that it's already yours. It just might not be in your current reality. It doesn't mean going out and making decisions or spending your money on something that's not aligned to you. So if ever you're in this situation where you're out and you're asking yourself, do I spend money on this right now or not? What's, what would be the abundant decision right now? Well, the abundant decision would be, does it feel aligned to me right now to spend my money on this? If the answer is yes, then go for it because you're always gonna be supported when you're making decisions that are aligned to you. But if you're feeling really uneasy about it and your body's feeling heavy and you're feeling nervous in, an, in a really yucky way, then that's a very good sign you're not in alignment and you should probably step away from what you're doing because it's not going to be the result that you're after. And in some cases, friends and clients that I've spoken to, they've found themselves with no money because they haven't been able to make that distinction, which is why I wanted to come on here and talk to you guys about this today because it is so important that you guys understand this. So important. Yes, there is a line that you need to draw, but understand that being abundant doesn't mean going out and spending all of your money. Do you guys get this? That abundance is a mindset, it's a mentality, it's how you choose to live and how you choose to show up. It's a knowing that everything and anything is possible in your world. That just because you might not have something right now doesn't mean you can't have it. That's abundance. When you choose to live in that energy, in that mindset, but making careless decisions that aren't aligned to you, that's not abundant. And the only thing you're going to manifest there are consequences that you probably don't want to deal with. All right? So let me know if this has helped you. Let me know what your biggest takeaway was. If you have watched this, if you're watching the replay, say hi. Let me know where you're from. Share or tag someone in this that needs to hear this because it's so important. It's a question I get asked, as I said, all the time. So Elisa, where's, where do I draw the line then? I'm thinking abundantly, but I can't go out and spend all my money. I hope, that, I hope this has made it very, very clear to you what abundance means. It means alignment. It means a knowing and a believing and a mindset that you can have whatever you want. And as long as you're making decisions that are aligned to you in every single moment, then abundance is gonna keep showing itself to you. When I'm in circumstances or situations where I want something, I just need to ask myself, does it feel aligned to me to have this right now? If the answer is no, it doesn't feel aligned for me to have it right now, it's not a no, I'm never going to have this. 
I always know I'm always going to have exactly what I want, everything I want, all the time. I always know that. I always believe that. And just because I'm saying no to something right now doesn't mean I can't have it in the future. It just means right now in, in the situation or the current moment that I'm in, it's not aligned to me to make that decision. And what's going to support me and give me more abundance is listening to that alignment. Not making decisions because I think I'm abundant. Like I said, abundance isn't a physical thing. It's not a tangible thing. It's a mentality. It's not something you do. It's something that you be. It's something that you embody every single day. All right? So... As I said, share this, tag anyone in this that you think needs to hear it because I'm sure that there are a lot of you out there considering how many people I have that ask me this question <laughs> all the time. And I will chat to you guys really soon. Bye.